We're at uh, the Microsoft World Partner Conference in the Polycom booth, and we're previewing the, uh, the, the new CX5100 and the CX5500, uh, also known as, originally known as the Round Table. This is several re revisions up. Uh, we're previewing, previewing the device because it, it it's available uh, at the end of September for the 5100, and we expect the uh, 5500, which also adds uh, SIP telephony, to be av available by the end of the year. So one of the key differences of the 5500 and the 5100 is the higher resolution. Uh, it now will support 1080p with Link 2013. It's also backward compatible to Link 2010 at 720p. Uh, but it, one of the, some of the key features is that it that offers a panoramic view. There's a number of cameras that point up to the mirrors, and then we stitch together the images, as you can see. Uh, the, other th the other nice thing is that it has active speaker detection. So as I'm speaking here, uh, if I were to get up and use the whiteboard over here, if I continue speaking, it should actually shift over to me after a few seconds. And then, so I, I could be, as the active speaker, be using the whiteboard. And uh, then if I come back and sit down at the table, if I sit down back at the, down at the table again, you'll see that uh, it, it knows where the active speaker is. So one of the key differences between this kind of camera is adds to the link room experience is that it can follow the speaker. Now, for example, if you had just one camera up at the top of the link room system facing outwards, as I walked up to the board, uh, I, I wouldn't be viewable as the active speaker anymore because of a single camera. So the, uh, the, um, the CX-5000, the predecessor, our partners say, is, is very successful. Um, the experience that you'll get with the CX-5100 and the 5500 will just be that much better.